Welcome back. Today I'm going to be telling you about a resin that cures in minutes, not days. Let's get started. Don't forget to follow the safety precautions on the box. We are all pros at masking up now. We know how to do this. I'm going to start by applying the UV resin to the Santorini stone. This product is already pre-mixed in one bottle, so there's no mixing. You just apply it straight from the one bottle. I did want to give you a good idea of the consistency of this product, so this part of the video is not sped up or slowed down. This is real time. It is fairly thick. It's definitely thicker than art resin. I would say kind of the consistency of honey, like the honey that maybe needs a little melting in the microwave. It does take some some strength to squeeze it out of the bottle. Next, I'm going to spread the UV resin around with a gloved hand. This is mostly because this is what I'm used to doing with art resin. I used a gloved hand directly on the stone. I have seen people use popsicle sticks, um, silicone brushes, so there may be a better way to do this. One thing I have noticed is that the UV resin, because it's thicker, it's more prone to having the lines from where I'm moving it around. So that's why I take the time to try and make sure this is nice and smooth. And then the next step that I'm going to do is to use a heat gun, which I've also started using with art resin that just blows very hot air and it deals with any bubbles that may occur in the resin. And also this kind of, you can see the texture that kind of exists in this before I take the heat gun to it. So I've stopped using a straw to blow out the bubbles in my resin and I now use this heat gun. So it just blows out really hot air. It has two settings, low and high and you just run it over the stone just like this and it'll pop the bubbles and kind of smooth out any of those lines from smoothing out the resin. Next I'm going to place the stone under a UV light for 60 seconds to get the initial cure on the stone. You can keep repeating this process or what I like to do is take it outside and put it in the sunlight. I do prefer to get an initial cure with the UV light because I took it straight out into the sunlight once and I got a little bug in it that I had to sand out and start all over again. So that initial cure kind of prevents that. Now let's take a few minutes to compare art resin to the UV resin. But to start off, let's do a quick review of how art resin works. To use the resin, you have to mix equal parts of the resin and the hardener. So there are two parts and then you mix them for at least two minutes before applying them to your stones. Art resin does have a little bit thinner of a consistency, so I think I use less of it because it goes a little further when you put it on the stones. You can spread it much easier and you can do fronts and backs at the same time, whereas the UV resin you have to do one side at a time. Art resin also needs to cure for 72 hours, so it takes a little bit longer. I have a full video just on the art resin process that I will link in the description and up above, so feel free to check that out if you want more details. When comparing cost, art resin costs $29 per 8 ounce set and the UV resin that I tried costs $17.99 for about 3.5 ounces. So when you compare the cost per ounce, art resin is a better deal as far as the cost. Now let's take a look at the consistency. The art resin is definitely thinner and the UV resin is thicker, I think probably because it's pre-mixed. With regard to smell, the art resin has very little smell to me and the UV resin has more of a smell. Art resin takes 72 hours or three days to cure and the UV resin takes 10 minutes, which is huge if you have left something to the last minute that you wanna use resin on. For a final comparison, I wanted to put these two products to the test to see how they hold up for 30 days outside. So I picked a couple of colors that seemed like they would be prone to fading, as well as my holographic glitter paint that I use all the time and a couple of paint pens that I also use frequently and put them on two nearly identical stones. The biggest reason I wanted to test this is because when I returned to an area where our local rock group had left some stones, I noticed that some of the art resin stones started to yellow. So I was curious to see what would happen if I tested both of these products and if the UV resin held up any differently because it's cured by UV light or the sunlight. So I placed these stones in an area in my yard that gets a lot of direct sunlight and it did get quite a few rainstorms on it in the 30 days that they were out here. I attempted to take a photo of these every week, but I didn't always get the same lighting. So for the final comparison, I brought them in and put them in a photo box so that you could see the big differences that I can see with my eyes. The art resin definitely has some visible yellowing when compared to the UV resin. It's not as obvious when they're not side by side, but it's definitely noticeable here. So I think this would be a game changer if you know your rocks are going to be outside in the direct sunlight for any amount of time. I was impressed that it doesn't appear that on either of these stones that any of the paint or the paint markers or the glitter paint faded. Art resin has the advantage of being more affordable, 
a little bit easier to work with, but that might be because it's just what I'm used to. And I think it goes a little bit further than the UV resin. On the flip side, the UV resin cures in 10 minutes. It's done in the same day and it didn't yellow. Both of those things are a big deal to me. So I actually am not going to pick one product or the other that's my favorite. They both have a spot in my rock painting bench. It just depends on my needs that day. UV resin is not new to rock painting, but it's something that I've just recently started using. I would love to hear about your experiences in the comments if you're an avid user of it. If you're new to using it like me, I hope this was helpful. Check out some of the other videos I have here for you for other tips, tricks, and inspiration. And as always, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time.